Hey everyone, come along with us on our Qatar Airways A 351,000 Coach Class Journey, where we'll share some amazing moments, delicious food, and stunning views. Let's get started. Welcome to Miami International Airport. It's a cloudy evening here at Terminal E, but nothing can dim our excitement as we prepare for an incredible journey to Doha with Qatar Airways. Today, we're traveling in economy class, but we're going to show you how to make the most of your experience, including the best seats for couples to pick. We're flying from Miami to Doha, and if you're traveling as a couple, choosing the right seat can make a huge difference in your comfort. Qatar Airways departs from Terminal E here in Miami. Let's head inside. As we stepped into the terminal, the flight crew had just arrived. Here's a quick glance at the Qatar check-in counters. While their in-flight service is top-notch, the ground experience leaves a bit to be desired. If you're a One World Sapphire or Emerald member, you'll have access to the American Flagship Lounge at Miami, located near Gate D30. Let's take a quick tour of the flagship lounge. If you'd rather jump ahead to the boarding, feel free to skip forward. Let's check out the food options in the flagship lounge, because aside from the comfort, it's really all about the great food. There's a made-to-order taco bar featuring both chicken and pork, and it's definitely worth trying. The ingredients are fresh, and the flavors are on point, making it a solid choice if you're craving something tasty and customizable. There are also plenty of cold and hot food options available. The selection is quite decent, offering a variety of dishes that cater to different tastes and preferences, ensuring there's something for everyone to enjoy. And of course, we need a close-up shot of the delicious food I picked out.
Boarding started right on time and was handled smoothly. As we board, I wanted to highlight a couple of things that really impressed me. Even though I'm flying in coach, as a One World Emerald member, both the flight attendant and the purser personally introduced themselves to me. The flight attendant even took my meal order before takeoff, ensuring I had first choice from the menu. Here's a quick peek at the business class as we head to our seats, 16A and 16C. These are the best economy seats for couples, since it's just the two of you, and you don't have to share an armrest with a stranger. Plus, even though it's a bulkhead seat, the leg room is surprisingly generous. The economy seats are 31 inches of leg room and 17.5 inches of seat width. They offer good padding and an adjustable headrest, making them fairly comfortable for long-haul flights. Each seat also comes with a 10.6-inch touchscreen and USB charging ports for added convenience. I found the leg room to be generous, and the seat padding provided good support even on longer flights, as you'd expect from one of the top-rated airlines. Here's a quick look at the Qatar Airways safety video. And just like that, we pushed back right on time, setting the stage for a smooth departure. The takeoff was smooth, and before we knew it, we were soaring over the stunning night skyline of Miami, with the city lights glittering below. Qatar Airways offers a fantastic in-flight entertainment experience with their Oryx One system, featuring over 8,500 entertainment options. This extensive library includes a wide variety of international films and TV shows, ensuring there's something for everyone. Notably, they provide many Indian language movies, making it a great choice for elders who appreciate familiar content during their travels. With its diverse range of options, Qatar's entertainment system makes long-haul journeys enjoyable for passengers of all ages. About 30 minutes after takeoff, the in-flight service began with a round of beverages. We both opted for the mango juice, which was refreshing, and it came with a side of pretzels. A nice start to the flight. Dinner included a selection of bread, salad, a main course, and dessert. I opted for the Indian butter chicken as my main dish. I wasn't particularly fond of the salad, but the rest of the meal was excellent. I was expecting the butter chicken to be bland, but it surprisingly packed a lot of flavor. The seasoning was well-balanced and authentic, making it a delightful choice. The dessert was just right, not too sweet, and perfectly satisfied my cravings, rounding out the meal nicely. Here's a customary view of the restroom. A quick tip. The restrooms located in the middle of the aircraft are actually slightly larger than those on the sides, which can be a better option if you're feeling claustrophobic. The restrooms were kept clean throughout the flight. Breakfast was served about 90 minutes before landing. I chose the omelet and sausage paired with apple juice. The taste was quite good and the fruits were fresh. The croissant was soft and buttery, making it a delightful addition to the meal. Overall, it was a very solid breakfast option for economy class, exceeding my expectations. As we descend into Doha Airport, the breathtaking sunset casts a warm glow over the horizon, creating a stunning backdrop for our arrival. Reflecting on the journey, it's clear that Qatar Airways delivers a remarkable travel experience, especially in economy class. The spacious seating, delicious meals, and extensive in-flight entertainment options, including many international selections, catered to a wide range of passengers. The attentive service from the flight crew, even in coach, added to the overall comfort of the flight. 
Qatar Airways exceeded my expectations, making this long-haul journey genuinely enjoyable. <laughs>